Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Soji, and I'm doing a quick review of the Figurai Standard Goku, um, Super Saiyan Son Goku. Um, I just got this guy in. He's a quick snap, so you'll notice some nubs, and he needs to be cleaned up. But this is exactly what he looks like out of the box. All I used was a cheap, crappy... Actually, it wasn't cheap. I paid too much for it, but I used a crappy uh, sprue cutter on him. No knife, no sanding, no nothing. So this is what he looks like out of the box, unpainted. And when I say unpainted, look at that face. Look at that face. That's how he comes unpainted. Yeah, that's not stickers either. There's, um, I'll show you the, on the back of his other face. He comes with a, each, there's one of Freeze and one of Super Saiyan Goku. Um, you'll notice his mouth is all white. The eyes and the mouth part are one piece. The eyebrows and the eyes are another piece. I think they're technically supposed to be blue, but I might be wrong. And essentially it's just layering. But the way they do it, it's really good. You could leave it like this and you'd be fine. Um, honestly, I was about to, I was considering getting the Super Saiyan Goku that they just released for SH figure arts, but I was kind of disappointed that it didn't include more beam effect parts or something. It seemed like they were wanting you to buy other stuff to do that. This comes with everything you would want in a Goku figure. Um, alternate face, the articulation, let me get that down first. He's got a hinge in the neck and a ball joint on the head. He moves everywhere. And, um, I guess it's just the way the hair is designed in general. You can't really, uh, the seam lines on the, there's, it's not really noticeable. Um, he has hinges in the shoulders. Um, this is loose, but it's supposed to be. Um, it's not really attached too much, but it's, it's, it's supposed to rotate with the arm. Um, double jointed, ball joint, and there are alternate hands. Um, he's got a waist joint. And you can get some good crunch with that. Um, he has, like the other, uh, figure eyes series he has the sh figure arch joint so he can get his leg way up and get it way out but if you're just standing you can pop it back in and it's fine he's got it's not double jointed knees but it's one joint but it goes all the way like this now the feet i was kind of disappointed in the feet but you got to work with them see it's it's got a great ankle tilt okay but the rotation isn't right here in the foot, it's right here. So when you adjust it, you gotta, you know, you gotta make sure you're pull, trying, not pulling it right here because this is gonna resist. You wanna turn it right here. It takes some getting used to. And probably the biggest fault of this figure is because it's so light, it kind of tends to fall down easily. So I'm thinking of weighing down the feet. Um, you got to mess with the feet a lot to get a good pose. Now, accessories, you already saw the other face. And we're going to switch that out right now. You can pull the hair off. What does that look like? Honestly, I'm wondering if there's some difference between Goku and Frieza in terms of, like, drawing him. Like, if it's just different, same face, different hair, or if there's some difference when they draw him. Um, let me know. Uh, there's his yelling face. Once again, looks great. His mouth is white. You could paint that if you want. It wouldn't take much. Um, or you could leave it like that. And it looks fine. Um, the ball joints on the wrist is a peg. And that looks kind of weird. But uh, they come out a little bit too much for my liking. But he comes with an extra set of hands and an extra chi-chi fingering. I mean, uh, instant transmission hand. And you can easily get that in a instant transmission pose. See, yep, that's good. Um, as far as his other hands, he has the Hadoken hands. I mean, Kamehameha Wave hands. And 
you got to actually look at a picture to figure out exactly because it's kind of hard to figure out okay well you've got him charging it up and then you've got him releasing it so the exact position of the hands you want to look at some pictures but um he does come with two effect parts and a little bit more than that um this is his normal bean ball thing and I've not done this yet but uh, apparently you just grip it in the hand let me see and that's kinda loose it's made out of three pieces but looks all right and I'm sure if I wasn't on camera right now it'd be a little bit easier to do but um the real coup de gras is when you okay and then you move this and then you move this out and now it looks like he's firing it but wait we're not gonna use the same thing for firing it Turn his feet. And he wants to lean back. We get a beam effect part. And uh, this could probably use some painting, but once again, looks okay out of the box. But it comes with this unique stand. Um, the other set that I, the, the figure I got in this set has a similar stand to this. And what it is, is. This is all clear plastic, so you don't want to be too rough on it because it will wear out. But it's got these little, it's got these little hinges like this, and they go in these, these little notches go in these little grooves. So you can adjust how tall you want it. I don't don't recommend putting it all the way in, just so that it's a little bit easier to get out. And it's got this little base. So now, once again, he falls over. Um, now it looks like he's shooting a Hadouken. Hadouken! I'm Ryu from Street Fighter. I'm totally not going to piss off people by calling him that. Um, he also comes with, and I haven't taken them out, the runner, but he also comes with some action base add-ons. And... Obviously the manual. So it comes with this little playing card. I'm not sure if this is when you scan into a game or what. Well, that's neat. Um comes with a booklet. And what's significant about this is if you go in the back of the booklet and look, they've already announced Gohan and Cell. Oh, I already knew about those guys. Let's so focus in on that. Okay, and I'm probably going to get Cell. But I'm seeing Goku right here. And honestly, yeah. Goku, his body, you got to get used to building that. If you want to collect a lot of these. Because, also I notice he doesn't have the symbol on his chest. And he doesn't have it on the back, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of a weird thing, but um he uh they're gonna reuse his body. They have all literally all the head parts on one runner. The gold hair, which is actually sort of a rubbery material, and I'll get to that in a second. The face the two faces, the eyes, all that all on one sheet. So essentially they can take this exact body, give you a different head. And it's Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Give you a different head. And it's Season 1 Goku, which is probably, you know, they're doing these as sort of like rival sets. So we'll get Goku, you know, we're getting Gohan and Cell, and we're getting Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu. We'll, we'll probably get regular Goku and regular Vegeta, and then we'll start getting those extra bonus characters and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, we will be building this body quite a few times. I'm expecting a Gold Frieza and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, 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 Super Saiyan Goku soon. Because all they have to do is 
reprint this and change his hair color again. So, yeah. But this is a great figure, great articulation, great price. I think this was like, what, $25? Um, do I have the top of the box? No, I don't. It's around $25, $20, $25, 2,500 yen, something around there. Um, for this figure, great price. A comparable SH figure should be at least $40 to $50. Um, and this is a model kit, so they'll just keep producing this. This isn't going to jack, this isn't going to rise up in price. The one thing I will say though, and I haven't seen any signs of it yet, unlike the rest of the Figure Eyes series and the Star Wars model kits, this does not have poly caps and it doesn't have a substitute. Usually when they have no poly caps, they'll have like a slightly different material for the frame or something like that. Or, you know, they'll make the parts that rub together out of a different material. With the exception of the hair, this is all the same material that I can tell. There's nothing, there's no rubbery or no more frictionless material. So I haven't seen any signs of it yet, but I could totally see maybe in a year, if you play with this a lot, it could totally be loose and wonky and stuff. But I don't think, I think even if that ends up being a problem, I think it is tight enough to where you can do some floor polish and it's not going to be a big deal. But uh, yeah, great figure. Um, Breeze is going to be next.